Welcome back to Maths with Armin. Uh, this is the solutions to the probability video, and that's the video on probability concepts, addition rule, mutually exclusive, and independent events, and applications are using tree diagrams and Venn diagrams. Now let's look at the solutions to exercise worksheet 8. This was a question adapted from the DPE Exemplar 2014 paper. Uh, in the first question here, you are given two events and it's stated that they are mutually exclusive and you have some given information and then we have to calculate the probability of event B. Right? In the second question, this is a question with two identical bags and you, it contains some pink and yellow balls and uh, we have to then select a, a ball from each bag the first question is we have to find the uh, representation using a tree diagram and then we have two questions on probability so let's go to the let's look at the first solution here uh, we are given that events are mutually exclusive right in other words we can then change the uh, addition rule probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B. We don't have to subtract. We are given that the probability of A or B is 0 0.57. We are given that the uh, probability of A is equal to a third of probability of B, a uh, half of probability of B. I can then simplify. I can multiply everything by a 2. And then I end up with uh, 2 times 0 0.57. And then if I multiply the half by 2, I get probability of B. Multiply probability of B, I get 2 probability of B. I can then make probability of B the subject. And that's the answer I get 0 0.38. Now let's look at the solution of question uh, 1. First of all, we were required in this question 1b to represent the information as a tree diagram. So there we have the first two branches, A and B, that's bag A and bag B. They have an equal likely chance, so that's probability is 1 over 2, 1 over 2, or a half. Then each bag we've got yellow and uh, pink balls. So in bag A, We've got pink balls and we've got yellow balls and the probability of drawing a pink ball from bag A is 3 over 5 and the probability of drawing a yellow ball from bag A is 2 out of 5. The same then bag B, we've got pink and yellow balls and the probability of drawing a pink ball is 5 over 9 and the probability of drawing a yellow ball from bag B is 4 over 9. As you can see, the sum of the probabilities, 3 over 5 plus 2 over 5 is 1, 5 over 9 plus 4 over 9 is 1. Let's write down the outcomes that I can get A and P, and that's the outcome A and Y, and then I can get P and P, and I can B and Y. So there we represent that as a tree diagram. Let's do the probability. We want to get the probability of from bag A to get a yellow. This is independent events. So it's the probability of A times the probability of getting Y. So you can see there, you follow the branch, it's half times 2 over 5, right? So that half times 2 over 5 gives me 1 over 5. And the next question, the probability of getting a pink. Where do we get pink? Can you see there we get pink there, and there we get pink. So there are two branches. So it's along this branch here, AP, so that's half times 3 over 5. And then along this branch here, it's again half times 5 over 9. If I do that little bit of calculation, it comes out as 26 over 45.
Now let's look at our second question here. This is a question that was adapted from the February 2015 paper. This is a question where we have to draw a Venn diagram and then we have four probability questions based on the Venn diagram. The first question we have to represent a Venn diagram and there's the representation of the Venn diagram based on the given information. Then we have to find the probability of A, B and C and this is the region A, B and C which is 4, 4 over 54, we simplify that, that's 2 over 27. Now we say A or B or C, so this is everything here except the 6, quick way is 54 minus 6 is 48, 48 over 54, we simplify that, 8 over 9. You could also have said 5 plus 8 plus 15 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7, but that would be much easier to do it by using a subtraction. The third question here, we say only C, which is the reason only C, it's only this portion here. So that's only 7 over 54. And the next question here, uses exactly two methods. You see there's exactly two. There's exactly two, exactly two. This one here is not exactly two. There are three methods here. There's only one method. And this is no method. So it's 4 plus 8 plus 5. Plus five and 4 plus 8 plus 5 gives me uh, 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 8 that gives me 17. This is a, the third question. It's adapted from the June 2015 paper. Again, here we have a question to represent it in a Venn diagram. Calculate the value of x. Actually, not a difficult one. There are only two events. And then there's a question to do with mutually exclusive. Let's look at the solution. This is the Venn diagram based on the given information. And uh, let's look at the first question there. We must find the value of x. So how do we do that? We have 28 minus x plus x plus 32 minus x plus 56. All of that must be equal to the 500. We do a little bit of calculation. X is 2, 1, 6. Now we can ask a question. They ask you, is it mutually exclusive? And obviously you can see it's not mutually exclusive because there is a X and the X value is 216. The probability of getting rugby and hockey is two, it's not a zero. Therefore, it's not mutually exclusive. This is a question adapted from the November 2015 paper. Uh, you are given some information to events and you have to show whether the events are independent, obviously justifying your answer. You can't just say yes or no, it's independent. Now let's look at the solution. Because it's independent, it means the probability of the one times the probability of the other. So we are given the probability of A is 0, 0,2 probability of b is 0, 0,63 we calculate that that gives you 0, 0,16 then we are also given that the probability of a and b is also 0, 0,16 so the two of them are equal therefore a and b are independent events thanks for watching the video i hope the solutions is clear to you also view other videos on grade 12 caps mathematics and as usual, please subscribe to my channel, Mats with Armin. Until next time.